BBC Essex. And it's now 28 minutes past two. Chantelle Pasquale. Hello. Good afternoon to you. <laughs> Welcome to BBC Essex. And as I've just discovered, you are related to the great man, <laughs> Mr Joe Pasquale. Yeah. yeah. Who is he to you? He's my second cousin. He's your second cousin. Well, <laughs> yeah. well, hold those uh, headphones close to your ears, because I've got something for you. Here we go. Hang on a second. Actually, it's Joe Pasquale from Greys. You're listening to the Mark Panzer Experience of BBC Essex. Lovely <laughs> boy. He drinks his own bath water. There we are. How about that? It all fits together, doesn't it? It's rather nice. So Can you are no, you are the star of this year's Canvey Light Switch On, which we shall come to in just a moment. But mm. let's talk about you and the instrument, first of all, the old ukulele. You're 19, yeah? Yes. And you play the ukulele, and you taught yourself to play mm. three years ago when you were 16. Yes. <laughs> I just decided to play it. I kind of thought, hmm, I feel like playing the ukulele and went ahead with it, learnt it and just went on YouTube and... Did you play any instruments before that, though? Um, I played the saxophone. <laughs> As you do. As you do at 16, um, yeah. Oh, no, I did that beforehand. I started oh, when I was in year six, I think. I felt like playing the saxophone, so I had lessons for the sax. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> I just always one of them people that just feel like learning something yeah. and see how it goes and I've enjoyed playing the ukulele a lot more than anything it's my favorite thing give it a go yeah have a bash it's lovely yeah. but the ukulele is such an unusual instrument to get into was <laughs> there somebody or something that made you kind of think yeah I like the look of that I like the sound of that I'll give that a go people would like to hear George Formby hmm. but I just really like the sound of the ukulele I've heard it here and there and this that and the other and just loved it and thought, oh, sounds like a good thing to play. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of people do make that association. Yeah. It's a knee-jerk reaction, ukulele, George, George Formby. Formby. And, yeah. you know, God bless him, he was the best ukulele player in the world. But, you know, in terms of modern music, the ukulele is still a very valid instrument. Yeah. I, I don't know if you're familiar... It's getting a bit more popular now, though. I've noticed that. I've yeah. seen it on the adverts, from Christmas adverts and the little adverts. <laughs> well, we had Joe Brown on. I don't know if you're familiar with Joe Brown, uh, one of the, the great singers of the 60s. Mm. He's just recently bought out an album of uh, ukulele songs. Oh, fair enough. I must yeah, have a listen to that, it's then. really good. It's really, <laughs> really good. Um, how easy or difficult did you find it? You mentioned you played the saxophone. I mean, compared to the sax... <laughs> The sax is harder, yeah. I must admit. Obviously, you need to do all the twiddly bits with the ukulele. That's that's a lot more harder. But yeah. apart from that, it's just chords and just oh. some of them you just push one finger oh, down and that's one cake, chord. It? It's, 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 it's all right. <laughs> Even an I idiot love like it. me could do it. Yeah, I can show you some yeah. after <laughs> if you want. <laughs> and you say that you love to make music that makes people smile and yeah. a ukulele just does that doesn't it's just it happy music isn't it you just have to be happy when you listen to a ukulele <laughs> and another uh, bunch of fellas we've had through here in the past couple of times actually uh, mm. dukes have you heard of dukes they're an essex-based ukulele orchestra ukulele I've heard, oh yeah yes i've heard some ukulele orchestras and they make such yeah. a great sound again it's wonderful music different size ukuleles as well yeah like that's right yeah the sopranos the concert Concerts, whatever. So, what's yours? Here? Mine's a con concert. Concert. Okay. Okay. So, what sort of sound does that make in comparison mm. to the others? The soprano is a little bit more high pitched, twangy kind of thing. Mm -hmm. This one's got a nice more tone to it. I like that one a lot more. Because okay. I had the soprano. It was my first one I ever brought when yeah. I went in PMT in Southend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spent twenty baby. quid on my little soprano ukulele. And oh, sweet. <laughs> and what's your first song going to be? Let's, um, let's hear you in action. Here. It's going to be called um, Eruptions. OK. Um, it's the song I wrote in GCSE when I was younger. And there was a long word called Numino Ultramicroscopic Silicovolcano Coniosis. That's easy for you to say. Yeah. <laughs> and um, they told me, oh, I dare you to write a song on that. I did. And I wrote a song <laughs> on that. And I called it Eruptions because it means a lung disease caused by volcano dust or something okay. like that. Right. Something like that. I forgot yeah. what it was. Okay. It's a random meaning, but... Go with it's, it. Yeah, and the song is also on iTunes and Amazon. Um, the, all the proceeds go to charity as well. Splendid. St. Bartholomew's. It's on the album Choose for Treatment. Good for so, you. Yeah. Get all the plugs in, girl. That's, that's a yeah. thing. Right, pick up the old axe there and let's see what you can do. This is Chantelle Pasquale. Can I move this down a bit? Yeah. OK. On BBC Essex.
Sorry for some of the mess up there. <laughs> I didn't know anything. Very good, Chantal Pasquale on BBC. What was that? Oh, oh. no. Oh, no, the uke's fallen on the floor. No. That isn't good. No, no. Is she all right? I think she's all okay. right. Bless her. Oh, baby. Socks. There we are. Bless her. What was that long name again? Numinol Ultramicroscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis. Right. Okay. <laughs> Can you say that long place name in Wales, by the way? <laughs> No. Flanfair, uh, blah, 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 go, go, go. I just wondered. You, you know, can speak Welsh. No, no, no. I just thought that because you, <laughs> you were able to get your tongue around a word like that, that you'd be able to do the, the well, like anti disestablishment and things of thing. like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're currently at uni, aren't you? Whereabouts? Um, at South Essex College. Okay, and what are you studying? Um, TV production and screen media. Very good. Hello to all my friends out there at <laughs> uni. <laughs> and what have you learned so far? I mean, if I plonked you into a TV studio, what, what could you do? Um, film. Yeah. Um, edit. You can actually make stuff. Final Cut Pro. I, yeah. I used to study photography in um, South Essex College as well, so I can do all the visuals and yeah. all, make everything look pretty and <laughs> what <whatnot. laughs> You're a clever girl. You're multi-talented. Does that hold more appeal than the music or, or do you like to... I love everything them? to do with the creative arts and the media and everything. I, I'm just... I love it. I, I like the radio. I yeah. like listen to the radio all the time and I just love the media. <laughs> You're not shy, are you? No. <laughs> it's good. That's I'm a happy good. little soul. You are, aren't Bless you? <laughs> That's lovely. And when you're not at uni and playing the ukulele, yeah. you work as a lifeguard. Yeah, you? I'm like, oh, who told you that? <laughs> oh, I've got my sources, you know. Proper Baywatch stuff here, yeah? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Where do you do that? Um, at Waterside and Runnermead. Okay. In Canvey and Thundersley, Benfleet area. Now, you see, I go swimming, right? Yeah. And there's the lifeguard at the side of the pool. And you think, that has got to be the most boring job in the world. <laughs> <laughs> they sit there for hours on end. Mm, get splashed. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. don't you find that... I mean, what, what do you think about it? Surely you've got to have a, a, a good mind to be a lifeguard because there's very little else... <laughs> To do. When Sometimes you I there. sing. <laughs> do you? Yeah, whilst I'm full slide. Um, <laughs> it's not that interesting. You count heads. Yeah. And then count different ways because it's that that counting, making sure you no one's drowning. Basically, I so. you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then yeah. Next time you count eleven, you've got panic. Really. <laughs> That's quite a crucial <laughs> job, isn't yeah. it? Have you ever saved anybody? No, I'm, I'm quite a new qualified lifeguard. I've only started in August, so. Okay. Yeah. And how good a swimmer do you have to be to be a lifeguard? <laughs> you have to, um, there's two time swims you've got to do. Yeah. You have a 65 second time swim, which you um, swim with a torpedo boy. You swim over there, chuck the torpedo boy to the person, mm -hmm. um, they grab hold of it and you swim back. Um, that's a 20 metres, 20 metres back, so 20 20. Um, that's 65 seconds. And then the other one, they've got to be unconscious. Well, yeah. Not literally, <laughs> Not really, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, you swim 20 metres up there, um, turn them round and then grab their chin and swim and 
got to go 10 metres back and that's got to be done in 45 seconds. See, there's a lot more to that and than you, I thought. When you do I thought training, it was all getting yeah. your pyjamas and diving down for bricks and all no, that. There's a lot more than that. No, you're going in your uniform as well. So. <laughs> With egg. so tell us about the big Canvey Christmas light switch on. When is that? That is on the 30th of November. Yeah. Where are we? Not far away? Not far. End of the month? No. Excited? Nervous? Yeah, I'm, I don't really get that nervous when it comes to singing. I'm more nervous about talking to you right now Nonsense. than singing. You don't want to be frightened about that, <laughs> believe me. And whereabouts on Canvey is it going to be? Um, and in High Street, in I believe Street. it is in High Street. Yeah, yeah, yes, it is. Are you switching the lights on? Or? N- I don't think so. Uncle, I'm not that special. Uncle, <laughs> Uncle Joe to do it, maybe? Or? <laughs> I'd like to try. <laughs> I mean, he's from down in Grey, isn't he? Yeah, well, he's, I think he lives in Kent now. Oh, no, he's disowned us, you see. <laughs> we, gave, we gave him some time on BBC Essex, he records a <laughs> jingle for me, and then he goes down to I've the I've had an Thank accident. You, <laughs> <laughs> and who else is going to be there then? Um, there's um, Luke. Britnell and Laura Mahoney, she's singing some songs. And, and Luke Britnell was the one on X Factor. Oh, really? He auditioned on X Factor, oh, yeah. Okay, so you're in good company then? Yes, he's got a cute little song he wrote for himself, and did yeah. all the um, judges were singing along to it. It's Fantastic. a nice song, I love it. I want to sing it myself. <laughs> well, is that something you'd like to do, the old X Factor, the voice? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd rather try and get myself around my, yeah. on my own, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, try yeah. and work for it a little bit harder. Good for you, yeah. Gail. Yeah. Good for you. I like the sound of that. And there's also talk of the South End lights as well, yeah? Um, I believe. No. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there are people in the background shaking their heads. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen. I was asked to do that. I wasn't able to do it, though. OK, OK. But Canvey? Canvey's going to be much bigger. Canvey. Right? <laughs> it's all going to happen on Canvey, let me tell you. Love What's your it. second song going to be? It's called um, La La Love. Right. <laughs> Let's hope that... The... My whole family wrote this song by the way. We all had a little family oh, get really? together and wrote the song. It was oh, quite oh, sweet. Lovely. Bless them. <laughs> well, let's hope the ukulele will still work after Hopefully being dropped survived, on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> so, there, there we go. Chantelle Pasquale. Let me uh, stick your mic up a little bit there. Yeah. So we can hear Did you hear with my ukulele, though? That's lovely. Yeah, yeah? absolutely. Chantelle Pasquale, BBC Essex. Chantal Pasquale. I never knew you cared. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> and you are the fa- love of my life. Oh, life. thank you, darling. And that was a family affair, yeah? Yeah. We, that song. Yeah, my sister was only ten. She just wrote she wrote a little note to my mum saying, You're the love of my life. And I had my conveniently had my ukulele at the time. So now I just started going la 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 life. And, <laughs> Off you and then mum started writing verses and I kind of joined in and everyone just thought it was like it was a nice little family get together that day. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. My mum loves that song. Beautiful thing. <laughs> Especially for my mum now. <laughs> <laughs> so where can people get hold of your music then? Um, well, that song that was on, the Eruption song is on iTunes yes. and Amazon. 
at the moment there's work in progress of all my other songs so you can't really get hold of it i will be making more youtube videos so um, I'm a work in progress at that as well, so what people you're can saying get hold to me, of me on YouTube. What you're saying to me, Chantelle, is that people have got to get down to Canvey. Yes. They want to hear you. They need action. to hear me, yeah. yes. Absolutely. Give us the details of that once again. Well, it's on the 30th of November at um, Canvey High Street, um, which is, I forgot what the road's called, but... The High matter. Street, The presumably. High Street. <laughs> yeah, but it's not called that. It's called Thurthwick Road, I think. It's Thurthwick be... Road. That's the one. I was trying to think. Obvious, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and what time are you on? Um, I am not quite sure what time I'm on. It's not actually been... Um, finalised. Finalised, yes, the okay. word. <laughs> well, enjoy it. I hope it goes well. Thank you. Have fun. And uh, lovely to see you. Nice meeting you too. And keep the happy music coming. I will. The jolly old ukulele. Chantal Pasquale on BBC. See ya. Essex and Proud. Essex and Proud.